What's up, guys? Welcome back. Your boy got himself in a little bit of hot water. The time walkers are not very super happy with me. You may have seen in like the bear video. We're just hashing out what kind of gear is good for the tower at the moment. And I just want to like, it's easier to say it with words than it is to type it all out on your phone, right? One, the coolest thing I've heard so far is that the best in slot druid weapon is a green quest weapon. I want to see what that is. Somebody post it, link it, tell me. All right, that sounds great. Okay. Initially, when I'm talking about gear in the tower, I'm not talking about, hey, get this, it's mandatory, you're going to need it, and here's the absolute best in slot stuff you're going to get. I'm more about teaching people to fish for, like, what they need, because I don't know every item in the game, and I'm not sifting through it. I'm looking at the journal, I'm looking at my bags, we're doing, you know, I'm playing the game. I'm doing more pulls than I am searching for, for best items, but I do think it's important to realize what the dynamics are of the Mage Tower item level scaling. I'm not sure that it's gonna change at all when War Within officially launches. When you get in the tower, you're scaled to level 45 and item level 120. And while item budget is fixed at the 120 item level, things like enchants and gems are not really accounted for in the best manner or handled in the best manner, but they are handled. They've actually recently buffed all the gems, uh, intentionally or not. It'd be hard to think that's unintentional. Even the socket bonuses on, like, the primary socket bonus for your helmet and your shoulders, which I don't have on that one. And this, these are, have all been buffed by a good bit. I think the helm and chest topped out at four. Now they top out at seven. Might have been higher. We got some side-by-sides going on here. There was this real big pushback on Siege and... You know, Miss Pandaria gear and Cataclysm enchants and, and gems and all that stuff. And I, again, I'm going to say nobody's, nobody's forced to do it, but the tower is probably harder than it's been. It was never this tough in Shadowlands, although it was tougher than it had been throughout all Dragonflight. So we're going from easiest iteration of the Mage Tower to the toughest iteration of the Mage Tower. It will get better. The tower was buffed two weeks ago to account for the addition of Hero Talents. So... If I had to say, everything's probably 20 to 30% harder if I had to put a rough number on it, right? That said, if you're already coming in here with no extracurricular gear or consumables, at least consumables, right? Like, you're going to have a bad time. And you're probably going to have a bad time either way. If you're going to use consumables, you should probably just use the best ones out there. Currently, the best scaling is the Greater Flask of the Currents. Ah, that's this guy. Gives you 69 nice. Agi. All of the augment runes are going to give you 7 or 11 main stats, so if you can use old ones there, do it. The drums work. Any drums work. The scrolls, again, maybe a little extracurricular, but the tower's hard. It's easier to buy a scroll than it is to get new gear. Also, Boralus Blood Sausage, super duper recently buffed to 39 main stat in the tower. It's uh, more than half your flask, so you definitely want drums. You want your Flask of the Currents, your Greater Flask of the Currents, rather. Superior Battle Potion of Agility, which gives you 234, right? That's huge. And uh, your Blood Sausage. With so I would go in with at least that, those four things. So I'd go in at least with the best Flask, at least with the best Potion, Drums, and a Food Buff. Blood Sausage, Food Buff. And if you're not doing that, like, the fight's hard. Like, you've seen it. You've tried it. Um, uh, the fight's super hard right now. People think it's actually bugged. There's this whole conspiracy about, like, gears not scaling to the correct item level, which, I mean, so they might turn on a new item level for the scaling. And though I doubt that's the case, it's probably more important to consider that unless it's going to go to 320 item level or above that, it's not going to change the nature of the enchants we're using. And currently, number of sockets plus enchants available is what determines what's best for your gear. Very rarely are additional effect items, like, good. The fire rings, right, are very bad from Dragonflight. Uh, some of the Dragonflight trinkets are pretty good. But the gear itself is poo-poo. Anyway, so here's some quick numbers. This is, left side is in my Dragonflight gear, just my normal-ass gear. Uh, you come into the tower, you get 425 Agi, 1665 Stam, and then my stats go from, or to 11% crit, 10% haste. Mastery is, we don't, Mastery is useless. It's a non-stat. It's a waste of a stat for bear. I, I only add Mastery here because I feel like if I didn't include it, people would think something's sus. 
and then you get verse 10 here at 10. So, so 11, 10, 8, and 10. Uh, versus the the relatively kitted out gear. Now, it's not best in slot. I don't even have any gems in this one, actually. So let's... Hey, hey, we're just going to call it 690. I knew it was close to 700. Uh, and you can probably get over that. We'll talk about the specific gems in a moment, too. So this is the gear with uh, all the old school enchants and, and gems and stuff. And you can see it's a considerable difference. Now, while we do, we actually gain crit in this setup, right? Uh, we lose 4% haste. We lose 3% verse. And we lose 1% mastery. So think about this. 4% haste, 3% verse, versus more than 50%, again, what your primary stat is. Primary stat is already so much better than secondaries, especially in content where you're scaled to a very low item level. 6 or 10% haste doesn't matter. Like, it's garbage haste. Now, the gems themselves, before the most recent tuning or scaling or War Within or whatever, it was basically just plus six Agi gems all day. Those have been buffed to plus eight, which are the Queen's Garnets found in Dragon Soul, purchased with the eggs, and then you crack open the eggs, and you hopefully get the gem you want. They're like 3K on the action house, so I wouldn't even recommend using these now. But the Light Sphene and the Sand Spinel, 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 have plus 23 haste. Those things are very nice and way cheaper. Now, I don't even... I, I would argue in the tower that eight agi is probably better than the haste i have an item with it that eight agi is, is potentially better than 23 haste but uh but they're close and they're close-ish and these are super cheap the light sphene you know quick light sphene and quick sand spin out whatever just for the record 23 haste is, is like one stat over is uh, 21 haste is one percent haste so you just account these at 1.1% haste per socket. Even if you don't want the Agi, it's it's a little over 1% per socket. That's not even considering the super gems that you're going to want to use. One, the meta gem. If you guys aren't familiar with these, increased critical damage effect, 3%, right? That's the old school. It used to be on for like three or four expansions. We had meta gems, and it was just a thing. But this is a plus 6 Agi, and it has that crit effect. Now, I mean, we even gained crit in our tower set for whatever reason. For the first gem you use, you can use 23 main stat gem. It's a Leviathan's Eye of Agility. And the second gem you take, you can do the Kraken's Eye of Agility. That's 19 stat. And then there's another one, which is the... Oh, wait, that was the Sabres, and this is the Kraken's Eye. I don't have a Agi one, but the Kraken's Eye is another 19 main stat. You can use all three of these. You can see I have them all in my Oathbinder, which is a Wrath of the Lich King 25-man drop, by the way. Um, I want to hear about that green weapon. All right, so we're just going to pull up some one-to-one -one, um, Dragonflight to old school items, right? And we're just going to show you there will be some closer ones and some further ones out. And I'll kind of just, we'll, we'll just go over it as we go. <clears throat> now, if you have a Dragonflight helmet with the socket in it, you know, this is probably one of the smaller bonuses, but you're looking at 10 primary, 21 secondary, a socket, and then like the Dragonflight Helm Enchant. This thing is garbage, but you can put it on it, and it doesn't cost anything to do it, so you should just do that, right? Versus 15 int, which is 5 more int, 8 secondaries. Now, the weight there is 5 int versus 13 secondaries. That's probably closer than you think. If you're consistently valuing secondaries at 2 to 1 on primary, that might not be accurate, and especially in the case of Mastery, it certainly isn't. Now, mastery is on the uh, old item here, so this really actually hurts my case, but I just wouldn't be, you know, forthright about it. I would still take this item. Um, and you can see the plus seven socket bonus there. That carries hard. And this isn't even an item that you, you can use an enchant on. And actually, you can use the incandescent enchant on it as well, so I should probably just take this off that side. Um, percent crit damn. Um... Yeah, I didn't do next because I've, I've always recommended the Dragonflight neck. I've always recommended the Lariat. Now, embellishments work in the tower. Uh, they still do. Your other slot that I'm recommending be Dragonflight is the light slot. We'll get to that later. But, but Lariat's proc gives you 13. You can also throw your Dragonflight primary gem in there, which is still better than the Queen's Garnet and the Sand's Final and the Light Sphinx. 
right? Because you get 10 primary and an additional nine secondary. So it's a way to use that. And if you're not going to use a Dragonflight neck and you have like the prize rock neck band or something, I don't even think you can get that at a high, high enough item level. It's an archaeology item with three sockets that you could put an old enchant on. And Mark of the Trained Soldier is plus 14 mastery, which again doesn't help me because mastery is garbage. But this is, you know, you consider it for all classes or whatever class you're playing. So, uh, and for shoulders like i got a little attacked here because my shoulders are not you know these are the plus four crit socket bonus ones i didn't have it i'm playing the towers i'm doing stuff shut up um but here we go i took the intellect version right because it's uh it makes me look better but this is you know the plus four full primary stat socket bonus two sockets in there the tiger fang no which one the inscription enchant you put on your shoulders it's either plus six or plus uh, sex, sorry, it's either plus six intellect or agility and grit. You know, it's a tiger fang. It's not ox horn. Crane wing? Maybe. Something along those lines. But either way, as it is, you're going to get eight in and 16 secondaries, or you can give up eight secondaries for an additional 20 primary. Now, that's a deal we can all, we, this is easy, right? Boom, easy, going along. It's a 20 in for eight secondaries. This is huge. Even if you're doing, trying to value your secondaries, it's like, it, just not happening oh yeah and i've also given the values of if you were to convert it into secondary stats for the gems that would either be uh eight in and 16 secondaries uh versus the 28 and 8 or versus the 12 in and 54 secondaries assuming you you were to use the light spheres, right uh let's go to cloak real quick this is a fun one to talk about so you got the Dragonflight Cloak on the left. We got our Leech on it. I'm just not even going to talk about the Leech. Leech is never going to be a deciding factor. You always want stats over Leech. That's just at the end of the day you do, unless that's status mastery. So for this Cloak, we got six Agi and 11 secondaries. Five of those mastery. That's my fault. It's a bad Cloak. But what are you going to do? And this is the Dreadfriar Drape. Now, I think, I, think, I think my accusator in the comments said that there was a better Cloak. I might have been thinking a different slot. And if it is, my bad. Um... But this is off Ryolith and Firelands. Now, this is a plus three Agi. So the socket, is it's not going to change, right? This is Agi users only, pretty much. Uh, because additionally, I doubt anyone values mastery less than bear. And you can see this actually shows we're losing five mastery. But do you know what losing five mastery loses you in the Mage Tower? It loses you 39 health points. You lose a quarter of a percent of attack power on the mastery loss. So, you know, anyway, let's pull this back up. So here's two ways you can think about this. Either 31 Agi and two haste, right? Minus five mastery, minus 48 HP, whatever. Uh, or 15 Agi and 48 haste. This is, again, verse 6 and, and 11. Like, it's just... It's just so good. The socket bonus and the enchant really put it over the top. Even if you want to just talk about the game of how good the sockets themselves are, but we're not talking. You don't go into battle with sockets. You go into battle with the whole thing. We're this is the whole pie, right? Uh, chess is another good example of just the enchant doing the hard carrying. Even if we're not so waking stats doesn't show you, but waking stats is plus twenty after you get into the tower. It scales to plus twenty. Eternal stats from I believe that Shadowlands gives you 35 stat pretty much just overkills the chest value itself right but then again you have 43 agi before sockets then you have uh, and eight secondaries before sockets and then you have another 24 agi or 69 nice secondaries from those sockets uh, it's just so much better than going in there with dragonfly items and again hands we're doing the same thing this is the same math as feet I think but feet that's a Feet's a different thing. We'll get there. Again, 8 and 16 versus 29 and 7 or 13 and 54. Like, the numbers are just, you can value 2 to 1 all you want. It's just not going to It's not gonna go in your favor. Oh, yeah. Don't put the stam enchant on your dragonfly belt if you get it. It's like it's like one stam or something. Anyway, belt's another good example. 29 agi, 7 secondaries, or 5 agi and 76 secondaries, right? So you kind of pick your poison. Secondaries are probably worth a little bit more, but again, secondaries, especially haste, loses value while, you, while you're bloodlusted because you're getting all that haste, right? You probably want the power for your burst. Whatever, you know. Um, 
Well, I haven't really been looking at other people killing the boss. Uh, has anybody killed Varus in under 90 seconds? Because I did. All right, now here's here's a good uh, little kind of a good discussion here is you can get the Raging Tempest 2 set, right, which is plus 44 of your highest secondary, and hopefully that's not mastery when you go in the tower. Um, and again, individually, the items are blown out of the water. You can get a double socket bracer, and I think it has a plus two bonus from last boss of throne. No. Trial of the Crusader, Grand Crusader, 25 heroic. Last boss drops a, I don't, I, I've never seen him drop it. Uh, there you go. You also have plus seven main stat enchant to put on that. So here's the, the breakdown of them combined. If you get the Raging Tempest 2 set, you're looking at 14 Agi and 72 secondaries, but uh, five of those secondaries are mastery, so we're, you know, we're not really counting those. Versus 57 Agi and 13 secondaries, or 33 Agi and 82 secondaries, which is slightly easier to compare it to. So 14 Agi versus 33 Agi and 72 versus 82. Like, both numbers are smaller. So, and again, we're not... I'm not out here saying my stuff's the best in slot, but if you're going to, you know, I just, I want to be able to know that I've looked into the stuff I'm talking about. I've looked into the gear I'm using. I've killed the bosses. I, I do Mage Tower all that in time. I'm not trying to mislead anybody. And if I'm wrong about stuff, that's cool. I've yet to see one I'm really wrong on. Um, And this was another, okay, pretend this beautiful Blizzard ring had a socket in it, right? The argument was a high secondary budget, Dragonflight rings are best in slot. So that's simply not the case because as you can see both rings So you can see the dragonflight ring gets 30 secondaries and then you have the plus 11 haste from the enchant That's the top enchant from dragonflight. That's what it scales to so you're talking at 41 Secondaries I see this is mastery. I could trade this for a different ring The real comparison here is the secondary stat budget of 30 plus 11 versus 20 plus 28 There's more on 20 plus 28. And so they're close, but the nice thing is if you have any of these old Legion legendaries, they do just come with a socket on it. And again, the enchant is better. I would probably go with which op whichever option you didn't have mastery on. So if I had a socket on this thing, I'd totally use it. But I don't. Uh, any rings with primary stats on them, don't use them. They have like four, se it's just they're not ever worth it. The, the enchant doesn't make up the difference. Usually the enchant making the difference has to do with it being a primary stat enchant and not uh, not just extra secondaries. But... So that's all there is there. And as for weapons, like weapons are fun to mess around with because you can get like, so you got your rash on weapon. This proc is going to do no damage throughout the fight. It's kind of dumb. Nobody likes, I've never been like killed by it or whatever, but uh, you can get weapons with lots of sockets. And so you can see here that the rash on has 10 agi. And if we haven't talked about this, each socket in items in WoW, and I think they've kind of standardized this for gear that is, Miss of Pandaria backwards. Each socket in an item takes away two primary stat from that budget. So you can see here, you got the 10 Agi, right? And then you have the four Agi here, but the three sockets, right? And this looks a little overkill because I have the three Giga gems in there. But I don't know. Uh, I think a lot of it is just uh, just for fun, right? Just, just to have something to do. And I, I'm gonna tell you, as somebody who's done the fight in Dragonflight gear and done the fight in not Dragonflight gear, you are going to whip, you are going to whoop considerable more ass if you go and kind of fuss about your gear a little bit. You also get all the transmog in the world now, so. But additionally, players are going to be a lot stronger after we after we've level capped and gotten our hero talents and gotten used to that and there's probably be new sources of stuff that are okay for the tower as well unsure about war within enchants or anything like that but unless their primary stat they're unlikely to be better than the stuff we're currently using and nothing's mandatory but Take it from me. Give yourself a little bit of an edge. Just get just get like four or five sockets and slam those really high Kraken's eye, Leviathan's eye, Saber's eye. Like just those. Just give yourself an extra 60 main stat, right? Because you're going to come in here and you're going to have 420 and you will not be blazing it, right? You will be, you will be on the ground pasted.
into a mess. But trinkets are a whole different issue. I think Ravage Seed Pod from Nithendra, First Boss, and Emerald Nightmare, I think that's still popular, people using it. I would just recommend get you some trinkets with some stats on them. Uh, specifically, the Chipped Soul Prism has double the stats of any other trinket. I think a trinket sits at 30 secondary or something like that, 15 secondary. This thing has 44 secondaries and 7 Agi. It has way more budget than any other trinket that I've seen. And Firax Tainted Rage Heart is actually a super sick trinket. The damage is whatever. You're never looking at it for damage. It does a lot of passive damage, which is cool. And it's a big absorb shield that you can use for an Annihilate or something like that. I'm just going to quickly point out the enchants because they're quite a big deal and I don't really feel like I focus on them enough in terms of what they're doing. So the Dragonflight Incandescent Essence enchant is garbage. You can put it on there because it goes on there. Who cares? For shoulders, you can use the Greater Crane Wing Ox Horn Tiger Fang or Tiger Claw Inscription item that can be purchased on the auction house that gives you six main stat and two crit the cloak enchant that gives you eight primary stat is called minor power the best chest enchant is called eternal stats and it gives you 35 stats bracers is where we get a little specific but the best agility enchant is plus seven agi and that's greater agility if you're an intellect user, it's eternal intellect, which is like 15. And strength is, I don't know, some, some with the word strength in it. And again, for agi users, the glove enchant is major agility. That's plus seven agi. And bracer and gloves might be switched. It's major agility and greater agility. Good luck. There's no enchant for old school belts, but you'll want an eternal belt buckle or an ebon steel belt buckle or a living steel belt buckle. They'll all do the same thing. They'll add one socket to the thing. You can't add more than that. Otherwise, you're going to like try to get your belts out of Siege of Orgrimmar, Throne of Thunder, or Dragon Soul. Dragon Soul has good belts too. Leg slots, the other slot where I just recommend a Dragonflight item. The 23 Agi, or the 23 main stat and 17 stamina puts the Dragonflight item so close to anything else that you're basically trading, you know, four more primary for a fully kitted out item, and you'd be trading stamina for it. A fully kitted out item comes out to about four or five more main stat than an appropriately enchanted leg item from Dragonflight. So the bloody foot pads, these are a Blackhorn item from Major Blackhorn, the airship fight in Dragon Soul. This is another one of those eternal enchants. Eternal agility is on the feet. It's plus 17 agi. It's so much better than anything else you could put on a, a, a boot that, you know, there you go. But I think that's about it. That's all I really got to say. Um, again, just high socket count item from Siege of Orgrimmar, Throne of Thunder, Dragon Soul, etc. And slam the cheap gems in there. The secondary stat gems. That's also fine. But if you don't want to do that, I totally get it. And that's fine. Just understand that right now the tower is in a spot where it's more difficult than it has been since Legion. Early Legion, right? And it is likely to get easier at level cap with it. Well, I mean, it will get easier at level cap with our hero talents. Um, I am super skeptical about them changing anything in the tower. And again, even if they were to change the item level you're scaling to, unless that item level is 320, it's not going to change the nature of the enchants that we're using. So. That's all I got. Let me know what you think. Tell me how the towers are going. See you guys.